I've created an empty project here and I'm going to show you how you can display videos or other cinematics that you've rendered out in other pieces of software onto widgets or onto screens within your levels. The first thing we're going to do is sort out our content structure here. This is an empty project with just a single level in. This is the basic level. I'm going to right click and create a new folder for the media that's going to be used in this project and another folder which is where I'm going to store the actual movies, the video files themselves. Now you can't just place the video files directly into your Unreal project. Uh, if you do this then when you export the project and build it um, your videos won't be included with it so they won't play, they'll break. But what you can do is find your video file. So here I've got um, uh, one of the other videos from my YouTube channel, the Rust and Dust video. And if I copy that and go to my Unreal project, this one here, in the content folder you can see that movies folder that we just created is visible and I'm going to paste the video directly into the content folder here in Windows Explorer. Now it's not going to show up in Unreal but since it's now part of the Unreal project it will be included with the project when that's exported. With the video placed inside of the movies folder in Windows I'm now going to go into the content browser here in Unreal into the media folder I'm going to right click and create a new media player. Uh, the media player works like a library. It holds all of the media that you want to be displaying on different sources and um, elements inside of Unreal. The media player requires a media texture asset to be linked with it. So I'm going to check that box to create the media texture with it. I'm just going to call this mp underscore my player and it will automatically create a video texture to go with it here. The video texture is going to be blank because there's no videos loaded in and the video player has no media sources found because we haven't added any media sources to this project yet. So the next thing we're going to need is a media source. Right click, go to media and choose media file media source. And this is going to be called ms underscore my video source. This video source is where you actually link an element of your Unreal project to a video file from your uh, project. So opening it up here, there's currently nothing linked. But if I go onto the details panel right hand side in the file path here and I choose to click, it will automatically navigate into that movies folder, Unreal set, to, set up to look for it. And there's the video that I just dumped into there. If I press open and I open the video, I should be able to play it here in Unreal. And we can see that now we now have a video source capable of playing that video. If all that you need is actually to just place a screen into your level to play a video, like maybe for a commercial in the game or for a tutorial, then you don't need the player or the video. You can just place the media sources directly into your level and scale them up and size them however you'd like. And then when you hit play, they will simply play the videos on whatever dimensions you've set them up for. This is quite useful in and of its own. If this is all you need, then just uh, drag the video into your un Unreal Project folder, create a media file source, link it to the video file, and then inside of the video source, in the player settings, you can choose whether it's to play automatically when it's open, whether it is to loop, and if you have multiple um, files linked, you can actually shuffle them. However, if you'd like more control over the video, you want to be able to start it and stop it at will, or if you want it to be full screen placed on the player's screen rather than a object placed in the world, then you're going to need to create a texture which you can control and display in different ways. You do this by selecting the video texture file and right clicking on it and selecting create material. This is going to be M underscore video texture. So what you have here, these four different files, the video source, the file media source, is a link to the video stored somewhere on your computer, or in this case, in the Unreal project. This is simply a bridge between Unreal and the video file. The media player is a controllable entity that you can access through blueprints or code, which allows you to choose which video it is you want to play when you want to play it. And whatever this is playing, the linked media texture will display. This media texture on its own doesn't do very much, but whatever videos you play through the player, because you could choose all sorts of different videos through the player and have them cycle through a list or shuffle, and they would all display on the video texture here. And the media texture is then displayed inside of this video material. What The texture sample is fed directly in here, and that will be the video which is displayed by your material. 
I want to use this as a UI element. We're going to display a widget on the player's screen, which is going to fill the screen and give the illusion of a full screen video. So I'm going to choose the material here, and I'm going to change its domain from surface to user interface. This is going to break bits of the um, material, so I'm going to have to just recombine it here, texture sample into video sample, and then save that. I'm going to create a simple widget now, which is going to display the uh, video on the player's screen. I'm going to go into my content folder, create a new folder, and call that UI. And in the UI folder, I'm going to create a new widget blueprint from the user interface drop-down. It's going to be a user widget, and I'm going to call this W underscore full screen video. This widget is going to be very simple. I'm going to apply a canvas to the screen so that we can align our widgets to the screen space and have them fill the entire screen. I'm then going to place uh, an image onto the canvas panel. And this is going to be just a black backdrop. So I'm going to select the color and opacity and change this to black. And then I'm just going to drag out its scale to fill the entire screen space. And I just want to shift its anchors to be in the middle of the screen. So it should now always fill the entire screen space regardless. In fact, I can use the fill anchor just to make sure that our screen is now black. And then I'm going to place another image on top of that one. This one I'm going to put in the middle of the screen center the image and I'm just going to bump up the size um, just for a placeholder just so we can see how things look for now and here in the appearance for this image in the brush you get to choose an image texture to use now I'm going to use the material that we just made m underscore video texture oh I spelt it wrong and now that video texture is linked to this widget so when the media player plays it will update the media texture. The media texture is being displayed on the material, and the material is here now on the player's viewport. So to test this now, we're going to need to add the widget to the player's viewport. Uh, I'm going to just chuck this uh, blueprint code into the level blueprint, um, but you should do this uh, wherever it makes sense for you to control it. If you have a, a master game mode blueprint controller object in your level, or if you put it on the player character and you're controlling it based on, say, colliding with a certain area or walking into a different thing, such as, or being killed by an enemy, then you might want to place the code there. But for now, I'm just going to put it into the level blueprint. Uh, here on begin play, I'm just going to create widget. This widget is going to be the new full screen video widget that we just made. Then we're going to get the player controller, connect that to the owning player. And then from the return value, I'm just going to add that to the viewport. Now this won't do anything on its own, but we can check that the widget works now. If I hit play, the screen's now black, and I've got just a still frame, the video is not playing. This is because the material texture last time I pressed play here in the player is just keeping the last frame from the video here. But that's not what we want. We want the video to actually work. So what you're going to need is to create a variable which you will which will allow you to point the blueprint towards your media player. So this is going to be create a new variable. This is going to be the media player. And it's going to be of type media player. Uh, there we go. And make it an object reference. Compile the blueprint. And then set the variable here to be the media player that we just created. So whatever your name was. So in this case, MP my media player. Now you can drag that into the blueprint and get a reference to it. And this will allow you to tell it to open source. Open source is uh, loading something and the media player is currently set up so that it plays a video as soon as it is opened. That doesn't have to be the case. You can control it manually. But in this case, it's nice and simple, so I'm going to leave that. Open source, and then you tell it which video source to open. There's the file media source we created right at the start. Compile, save, and when I press play, the screen is blanked out and we play my video. I need to obviously adjust the size of that image since it's distorted the video there, but the point is we've created a widget which is full screen and is able to play media files. You can customize each element of this code. You can tell the media player to open different sources on different queues. So if you had different events coming in like start game, player dies or end level, you could just tell the media player to open different sources. And since you have a widget here, you can hide or show this widget whenever you want videos to play or stop.
So there's some common bugs that are recognized with using media sources and the media player in Unreal Engine 5 at the moment like this. Uh, for example, if you get buggy or crashing playback where your videos seem to be very slow or not working properly, I get this one where quite often this video will crash at the end even though it's only seven or eight seconds long. There it hangs at the end of the video and it never actually finishes playing. Uh, in order to fix most of these issues, there is a plugin player built into the Unreal Engine, but it's just disabled by default. If you go edit plugins and open the plugins options for the Unreal Engine and search for the Elec Electra player, that's E-L-E-C-T-R-A player, enable that and restart the engine. This sorts out almost all of the issues with media playback that I've experienced. If, especially if it refuses to acknowledge certain types of videos, such as MOV files, it's had issues with them. And now just a little bonus on uh, manipulating media files and using the media player to detect when a video has ended, for example. I'm just going to tidy up this code a little bit first here. When we create the widget, rather than directly plugging it into the viewport, I'm going to promote it to a variable. I'm going to name this viewport the widget reference and connect to that to the viewport. Now that we have a reference, we can actually do something with this widget, such as hide it. And the media source here, currently there's no way of detecting when this has ended, but the media player does have a delegate function built into it, which you can use, which will detect when a media source is finished playing. So if I drag off in the media player and search for assign on end reached, it will give me this bind event and create a new event for me here in this graph. This event will be called whenever the media's currently open source reaches the end, this event will fire. In this case, what I want to do is take the widget and hide it. Set visibility to hidden. So now this Delegate will detect when the source is finished playing. When the source is finished playing, we will access our widget reference that we set earlier, and we will set its visibility to hidden. Let's test that. We're in. Video has started. When it ends, it should hide. And we're back in the level. Excellent.